Hi everyone, welcome to my packing day of terror. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. so anxious before flights. So, tomorrow's fly day. I haven't packed a thing. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon. Big old goose eggs, pack eggs packed already. Checked in this morning, my seat is still okay. I was pretty tempted to do the upgrade to business class because it was actually a reasonable price, but um, no, not gonna do that. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. The anxiety of it is being compacted with a few other things on the other end of this trip. So kind of thrown us for a little bit of a loop. We're gonna figure that out and sort that out. So that's kind of making me a little bit anxious too, because it's kind of gonna affect packing a little bit today. But at the same time, I don't wanna think about it. I'm gonna try to ignore that part and just pack. <laughs> so, so far what I've done is I had Ken pull out our big suitcases out of the, at <clears throat> out of the attic yesterday last night, my suitcase actually. I have the Away set, the big one, the medium one, and the carry-on size. I love them. They have been around the world with me twice now. Where's the, I flipped the camera now. No, we good, we good. So going home, I'm going to take my large Away suitcase and my carry-on and a personal bag. I'm gonna take home a lot of my really summery stuff that I know I won't need in the next few months and take home anything that I wanna wear while we're home because we're actually gonna be home for quite a while. So I will need some of my like boots and whatnot because I don't, I don't, I think I brought most of my good boots here. So I don't think I have much to wear at home unless I just wanna wear my old Uggs every day. That's the hard part. I gotta think about, okay, I have black boots here, but do I have another pair of black boots that would do me just fine while I'm there? So I don't have to bring the boots I have here back home to Vancouver and then bring them back here to Amsterdam. <laughs> I think I'll probably just end up guessing. <laughs> and I know I lo have lots of sweaters and whatnot at home, but boots and things like jeans, I'll probably just wear my big black coat on the plane because it's like a blanket. Those kinds of things, big bulky items that I have something similar at home, yada yada. I should get going. I have fussed with my, uh, my hair long enough, procrastinated getting dressed. I accidentally did a full face of makeup. <laughs> Accidentally, for real. I sat down to do my makeup. I was just gonna do my usual like naked face, barely there makeup. And I literally just completely zoned out and before I knew it, I had a full face of makeup on. So, oops, just thinking about other things. Clearly my mind's very distracted. So I think I'm gonna start with things that I need to bring home for like warmth and whatnot that are gonna be coming back with me to Amsterdam. And then I'll fill up any remainder space with summary things that I can take home that I won't necessarily need because I don't have to take them home, but I won't need them for the next few months. So just kind of making a bit of a closet switch over internationally. Years ago, I never would have left this kind of packing to the day before. Like this time tomorrow, I'm gonna be at the airport. So it's less than 24 hours. But because we've traveled around so much in the last few years um, and little trips, big trips, hopping and bopping all over the place, dis different seasons and you know, all over the place. I've just gotten used to it. I'm not as, I used to get really anxious about packing, the flight, kind of manic and crazy at the airport and the whole days leading up to that while packing. <laughs> but now thankfully, because I get so anxious about the flight, the packing doesn't seem like such a big deal anymore. So I'm honestly not that worried about it. As long as I get something in my suitcase, I can buy another toothbrush if I need to. So yeah, that's where we're gonna start. And I've got my plane pants out. I've worn these on almost every flight we've taken for at least a year, more than that. Maybe a year and a half. Anyways, they're ridiculously comfortable. They're from Lululemon and they're like super stretchy material, but they got little pockets in the front. So comfortable, better than leggings. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna start out with skirts and shorts, pants, sweaters, long sleeve shirts, and then I'm gonna move on to dresses. A lot of these are summer dresses that there's no way I'm gonna wear in the next few months. All bright yellows and pinks and, you know, summery things that you can't really transition into the fall, winter, so. Yep. <laughs> Okay, this is proving harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I was gonna try to just stick with things that I want to take to wear while at home over the holidays, but my brain is wanting to like pull all the summer stuff that I know I won't need till summer. 
So I'm kind of switching in between the two, not keeping it very organized in my head. We also don't know when we're gonna be going back again after this trip home. So during summer, after summer, depending on a bunch of different things. So I don't wanna take all my summer stuff home in case we end up not going back until after summer or something. Um, and then all my summer stuff ends up in Vancouver and not here. I do need to make some room on this end because I know there's stuff still in Vancouver that I'm gonna be bringing back here. So and things like this, I'm not gonna be wearing for the next little while. I can pick these up again next trip. Here's what I got out of all of that. Not much, which is, I guess, good and bad. So this is all summer skirts that I'm gonna take home. This I'm taking because I might want to wear it when we're home, but it's gonna come back with us. Two pairs of jeans. Majority of my jeans are gonna be staying here. Actually, there's three, there's one more there. That one I already took out of the wash. So two pairs of jeans, one pair of white jeans, and then I'm gonna work with whatever else I have left at home two long sleeve shirts because I'm not sure I have crew neck at home. I know I have some long sleeve stuff, but these are kind of my favorites right now. This one has been great though. I love it. So I think I'll get some good use out of that while at home, but they'll both be coming back here to Amsterdam. And then my bright yellow sweater. I love this thing, but highly doubtful that I'll be wearing it anytime soon. So she can go home for now and we will reunite in the summer. And then I pulled this long sleeve shirt to wear with my plain pants. So that's gonna be part of my airport port outfit, which is basically all pajamas, as good as pajamas. And these are my vintage Levi's that I'm gonna take home and they'll come back with me. I'm not gonna take any of my other sweaters with me, I don't think, I love them all, but I know I have a ton of sweaters I can wear at home and I'm probably gonna be doing some thrift shopping. Not probably, definitely. So excited to go to my favorite spots. I'm sure I'll find things to wear there and I'll be excited to wear those while I'm there and they'll all come back to Amsterdam with me. So I think I'm gonna leave these guys here for now. So far, it's looking like it's gonna be a pretty empty suitcase. I wonder if I'll actually be able to put my carry-on right inside of the large suitcase. And then I just have a personal bag to carry. I really wanna take my little brown thrifted pants, little trousers. I think they'd be great for this time of year, but I don't know if I have any shoes there or shoes that I'm planning to bring, of the ones I'm planning to bring will work with these. So I might have a pair of pants that I can't wear outside of the house because there's no shoes to wear with them. <laughs> I know, I overthink all of this, but I like clothes, that's the thing. I get excited about what to wear each day, usually. So, do I bring them and just plan to wear my little slides without socks in winter or leave them home? What about my leather jacket? Well, I wanna wear that while we're at home and I'll definitely need it, so I'll have to bring it back. I don't think I'll need it. I'll find something else. <laughs> oh, I really wish I could bring my huge oversized H&M sweater, but it's just so big and bulky. I don't know if I want to use up the space. <laughs> I really want to bring my cowboy boots with me too, but oh my God, am I going to bring cowboy boots that I'll probably wear once while we're at home all the way to Vancouver and back again? Maybe I will. <laughs> 
I just put up, pulled out my personal bag that I haven't touched since we flew here. Vancouver Consulate General of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. A payment of some kind. Vodafone plastic bag, tampons, <laughs> and found hand sanitizer. There's already one in there in the old KLM tag. Found this thing in there too. This is when we flew Qantas. And there's earplugs, an eye mask, and pain medication. So I think I'm gonna keep that in there. That'll probably come in handy. Okay, we're in the bedroom now. Moving on to shoes. Under the bed. Shoes, I actually have a fair bit of room here, so I don't think I'm gonna take anything summery but I'm gonna take a quick look through, make sure there's no boots or anything that I actually wanna take with me for use while at home. Maybe a pair of heels for Christmassy kind of stuff too. Mm. See, these might be good, but I might also have something similar at home that I could just use. I think I might just take these. I love these. Super comfortable. Also thrifted. I'm only gonna bring the new brown boots because those will go with all the jeans and the white jeans that I packed. Oh, that's my hair. <laughs> and they'll be great with skirts and dresses too. I have a pair of Ugg like boots at home, so I'm gonna leave those. I'm gonna bring my flats just in case, even though it's winter in Canada. And those are not sock shoes, sock shoes. <laughs> and then I think I might actually bring my cowboy boots home. I just love them so much. I don't know if I can bear to be apart with them. And then I think I might actually bring these guys too. These are kind of my kick the shit boots. They go with everything. They work well with leggings and whatnot, just plain black leggings. And I don't really care about beating them up too much. So I think those will have to come as well. All of these will be coming back home to Amsterdam with us as well. I need to bring these guys too. Oh God. I'm not so good at the shoes. I did really well with the clothing, but I'm doing terrible with the shoes. <laughs> these are my uh, golden goose dupes, by the way. They're awesome. They, this website has quite a few different versions of them. They have a version that's covered in sparkles, actually, and one version covered uh, that has leopard print on it, and they're like 30 bucks. So if you're looking for a dupe, that's where to get it. I'll make sure they're linked down below because they are awesome. I've had these for a while now and um, love them. Get these, make sure you size up one. I think I got these, yeah, these are 37 and I'm normally 36 and they're almost too small. So definitely full size up. And coats, I'm gonna wear my big long black coat. Like I said, it kind of acts like a blanket for me. It's really warm, cozy. And I might bring my beige one as well. Off the top of my head, I know I've got one, two, three bulky coats that I want to bring back here to Amsterdam. And that's gonna take up quite a bit of space, but I don't think there's much in the way of shoes that I'm gonna be bringing back. It's mostly gonna be those big coats and some sweaters. So I don't want to, you know, fill up my suitcase now. <laughs> Might have to do some eliminating of these shoes. It seems a little bit excessive. <laughs> Brought all the little piles downstairs and this is it <laughs> that's all i've got i just have to pack toiletry stuff but i've already got like a hair dryer and whatnot at home so i don't need to pack big bulky items just like my curler my basic bathroom stuff makeup and then all my tech equipment so a laptop external charger my vlogging camera tripod uh phone chargers sd cards but that usually all fits into my carry-on easily. I don't know, I feel like I'm screwing up here. <laughs> I don't have enough stuff, I have enough stuff, I don't know. I know I have enough clothes to wear at home, so I don't really need to bring that much. I even have like pajamas and stuff at home, socks, black tights. It's just about how much I want to take home of summer stuff. So 
in terms of bathroom stuff, this is all I'm gonna bring. I'm pretty minimal with skincare anyways. I tend to try to use up what I have before I buy a bunch of new stuff. Most of the time, not always. Sometimes I go a little bit crazy, but this is gonna be just the essential stuff. And then I have extras of things, I think, at home. So for my cleanser, I'm gonna use up the rest of this. There's just a tiny bit left, so I'm gonna bring my Clinique uh, take the day off as well for when that runs out. Retinol, this is my vitamin C that I love. And then the L'Oreal moisturizer that I've been loving for evenings. This is the eye cream I've been using for ages, trying to get the good bang for buck out of that guy. And then this is my usual facial moisturizer that I put under my makeup. It's a bit of a mess right now, but tiny bit left in this guy. The plan is to pick up another one or two of these when I go home, because I know exactly where to get them. Not as easy here. The couch is all wet because I just rinsed everything. <laughs> Make it all nice and clean. I'm gonna throw it into a bag, really fancy. Um, but this is pretty much all my liquids other than, I guess, my liquid foundation. That'll all easily fit into the airport Ziploc baggie. Okay, taking a quick packing break. I had a little chat with Kenny, who's calling, checking in, making sure I wasn't turning into a total stress ball. He's nice of him. I'm gonna make up some lunch. Kind of forgot about food. My brain is elsewhere. I'm making up leftover stuff as usual. Some quinoa fried rice from a couple days ago. And then we had this veggie mix from uh, when we made dinner but didn't use it all. So I'm cooking that up in a pan, just some sesame oil. And then for sauce, I'm just gonna add some chili sauce, soy sauce, hot sauce, and a splash, splash of rice vinegar. Throw it all together, yum. And that took all of five minutes. Looks delicious. So excited. Now that I realized I hadn't eaten all day, I'm suddenly starving. <laughs> okay, you guys, we've made it all the way nearly to the end here. We're doing tech and carry-on bag stuff. I'm not gonna put my carry-on bag inside my large suitcase. I think it's just gonna be too heavy on my shoulder because I put my laptop, my fancy bags, all my tech stuff, I carry that with me. I never check it. So it'll just be easier on my shoulder if it's in my carry-on. So I ended up throwing my beige coat in here. It's almost like too little stuff. It's all going to be sloshing around. So I just stuff that in there. I'm, I'm going to have enough room, I think. And then I got my toothbrush charger, vlogging camera, the charger for that, external, regular camera, the other lens for my camera, charger for this camera, SD cards, two cords for phones. I probably should find another end piece though, because this one doesn't have one. And I might need it for this guy too. Although I think, again, there's a few still at home. A couple pairs of sunglasses, my favorite toque of the moment. I'm gonna throw all my loosey-goosey tech stuff and cords into one bag because they always rip this whole bag apart because when it goes to the scanner, they can't tell what the hell's in it. It just looks like a bunch of random cords everywhere, which it is. So, so if I throw it all in here, I can just pull it all out in one go, make it nice and easy. And then on this side, I'm gonna have my laptop charger. Um, these are my wet wipes that I packed in my Ziploc, passport, wallet, lip chap, a lip liner. Uh, my makeup will also go in this bag when I'm done with it in the morning and skincare as well, ginger gravel, and I've got regular gravel mixed in there. Uh, if I need it, it also helps me sleep. So <laughs> I'd like to keep one of those next to me, my hand sanitizer and two pens because whenever we land in Vancouver, we're always those people without a pen. So this time I'm prepared and my neighbor will get a pen as well. I don't think I showed you on this side either, but I've got my hair curler, just bringing that one. I'm not gonna bring my crimper. It's tempting, but I'm not going to. <laughs> and then my Soho Gucci Disco. Good old and faithful, love this guy, can't be without it. Although most of the time I'm just using a tote. So I've got my tote packed in there too because I'm just used to carrying that now. And then an extra gravel just in case for whatever reason my bag goes missing, I can't be without my gravel. And then on this side I have my ivory hat and my brown scarf. And then I'm gonna put my sunglasses into my toque to give them a little extra protection. I have talked about these away suitcases before, but if you are in the market for new suitcases. This carry-on one is the perfect size. I used this a ton when we were doing our little travel trips when we were living in France and Singapore. Perfect size. Um, holds everything in really nicely and then you got the big straps somewhere here to compact everything down. Hard outside 
and the wheels have not been a problem. That's been an issue with previous luggage is that this edge gets caught on cobblestone or something and eventually the wheel ends up popping off and that hasn't been an issue with these. And they look super sleek and nice. This is the one that has a charger in the back of it too. I don't, I, there's probably an updated version of this now, but um, we've loved it. Great investment. Could also make a great Christmas gift for somebody if you're still on the hunt for um, somebody in your life. They come in a ton of different colors too. I just got the navy one because I didn't want to deal with them looking like crap, you know, after a few trips and the navy is held up really well. There's been a few nicks and scuffs and whatnot, but it's all rubbed off pretty easily. If you have a traveler in your life, this is a really good uh, set to look at. I'll make sure they're linked down below the ones that I have because they're awesome. Felt the need to rearrange this, so I stuck my camera into my hat to create a little cocoon for it. Help keep the shape of the hat and keep the camera nice and safe. And then I'm gonna open up my scarf to kind of lay down a little bed for it, just in case it gets knocked from the outside. This is gonna be with me uh, and I'll be very aware that my camera, my precious camera is inside of it. I'm not gonna be banging it around or anything, so. Anxious. And I just inhaled a bunch of chocolate. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is so dark in here already. And it's like a little after four. <laughs> Taking another break. I'm going to set another vlog live. I think it's pretty well ready to go, but I'm just gonna double check everything. Is tickety boo and set her free out into the internet. <laughs> Okay, I just nerded out and took a bunch of pictures in front of my own Christmas tree. Kind of saying goodbye to it, taking my final few pictures with it while it's still the holiday season. And Ken is messaged saying that he wants to go out for a beer. I'm not gonna say no, it's my last night in Amsterdam while it's still Christmas season. It's sad, it's a weird feeling. I'm like anxious about leaving Amsterdam because it does feel like home already, but I am so excited to get home to see everybody and to be in my mom's house. I don't know, my heart wants to be in both places. Plus Ken's gonna be here for a little longer than I am. So we never really like to be apart. We've been together for half our lives at this point and we like it. So I'm gonna go meet him over at the pub, our people watching spot for a beer. So I put my, <laughs> my remaining boots on. These ones I actually rediscovered today. I forgot they were up there. They're very similar to my brown boots that I recently bought, but they're more of like an olive color and way more uncomfortable, but they're comfortable enough to get to the pub. I think I'm just gonna throw on my puffer coat. It doesn't really, this is not an outfit. <laughs> And a puffer coat over top. Let's go meet Ken. It's cold out tonight. It is. My nose is frozen in 10 minutes. Yeah, the lights are on at that place already. Right? We don't know what happens in that place. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. The lights come on very late at night. Nobody knows. 